So we want to compute the area under the curve f of x equal to absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 3 between x equals 0 and x equals 4. Okay, the first fundamental theorem of calculus gives me a recipe for computing this area, assuming our function is completely positive. That's going to be take the antiderivative of this function, evaluate it 4, evaluate it 0, and then take the difference. Now the problem here is that we have to deal with absolute value signs. Without the absolute value signs, the antiderivative of our function is straightforward. So we have to figure out how to get around this. First, let's recall what it means to be inside the absolute value. If I put a positive number into the absolute value, it says to leave it alone. If I put a negative value into the absolute value, it says to multiply by minus 1. So if I put a negative number in there, it just changes it to a positive by multiplication by minus 1. So let's graph our function just to get an idea of what's going on. And that way also we'll know we're taking the area under the curve of the function. So let's take a look. First, I'm going to factor out the inside, so that way we can figure out where the function's positive and negative. So our roots are going to be 1 and 3. This is going to be a parabola, and since the coefficient of x squared is positive, that means it's a parabola with the bowl facing up. So we know where the zeros are, we draw the bowl in, and then that's our parabola. So we notice by the rule, if any part is negative, we flip it up. So this part that would normally naturally go on the bottom, we're just going to flip up to the top part, symmetrically. For the other parts, since they're positive, we just leave them alone. Now I can work with this integral here, because one of our rules tells us if I want to take an integral over a region, it's the same as if I take the sum of the integrals over each subregion that add up to our region. So what I mean by this is our original integral can be broken up into three pieces. We have the piece from 0 to 1, where it's just the function with the absolute value signs dropped. We have the piece from, minus, from 1 to 3, where we multiply our original function by minus 1. And then we have the piece from 3 to 4, where we put our original function in. It's positive on that region, so I just leave it alone. Now we can work with this. We have three times the amount of work we would have started with if there's no absolute value here, but we can at least get to an answer now. So first fundamental theorem of calculus says take the antiderivative of the inside, and then evaluate the limits, take their difference. So we do that for each of these. We can check our answers by taking the derivative. If I take the derivative of this, I better get x squared minus 4x plus 3. So derivative of this says bring the 3 down, drop the exponent by 1 gives me x squared. This says drop the 2 down, drop the exponent by 1 gives me minus 4x. And then derivative of 3x is just going to be 3. So we know we have the correct derivative here. So we won't do the other one because we know it will work out. So I put my numbers in. If I put 1 into this, I get this term. Put 0 in, the whole thing's going to go to 0, so I'm not going to worry about putting each term in. I go to the next one. Now note this one won't be so simple. We'll have to carry a bunch of terms around for each evaluation. So I make sure I keep my parentheses in not to mess up the minus sign. We don't want to just give it to the minus 1 third. We want to give it to the whole entire thing. Similarly, we do the same idea for our last piece, and so we'll get this, which is just gotten by sticking 4 and 3 in. And so now it's just crunching the numbers till you get to the end. So when I crunch each of these, we wind up with 4 thirds plus 4 thirds plus 4 thirds. So 3 times 4 thirds gives me a 4, and we're done. So the interpretation of this is, if I take the area under this curve here from 0 to 4, that area is going to add up to 4.